Welcome, I'm Michael McDonald, the co-author of The Silver Bomb, and you may have recently heard that both China and India are set to barter with Iran, uh, basically buying oil with gold and silver and other commodities of value uh, to get around the current sanctions that the U.S. has imposed upon Iran. So China and India are both saying, hey, we buy significant amounts of our oil from Iran, and you're telling us we cannot do this in U.S. dollars. Because currently, the U.S. dollar is a world reserve currency, as you know, and that means that all nations on planet Earth must buy oil using U.S. dollars. So this is coming to an end. China is looking, they buy most of their oil from Iran, and uh, they're basically looking at the United States. Um, who are you to tell us what we can buy and how we can buy it? So they're in negotiations right now to uh, go around these sanctions and buy oil with gold and silver and other commodities. Um, so this is the end of the dollar as we know it. This has huge implications for the world. The financial paradigm that we are currently in is quickly dissolving into something new and unknown. However, we can use history as a guide. Throughout history, uh, paper money, uh, another name for it is fiat money. It's money that is backed by nothing. It's uh, simply an illusion. These Fiat paper monies, on average, have lasted 37 years. The U.S. dollar is going on roughly 40 years since it's uh, no longer uh, backed by gold. So our dollar right now is backed by debt, essentially, and the fact that our military might is prevalent in every major nation on this planet. So that is waning. Uh, countries such as China and India and others are lining up to figure out a way to do their transactions outside of the dollar. So once the dollar is no longer the world reserve currency, things are going to look quite a bit different than they do today. And that's why Christopher and I have written this book, The Silver Bomb. Because using history as a guide, we know that when paper fails, it's a return to metal as money. Yes, in, in fact, gold and silver is always the go-to currency once paper fails, and it'll happen again. It's just a matter of when it'll happen. There's a lot going on right now uh, that is basically telling both of us that this is just around the corner. Uh, you know, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be five years from now. We don't know how long these, uh, you know, elite bankers can keep the paper uh, farce going. So we have written this book, The Silver Bomb, that, that really highlights how we got in this predicament, who are the controlling uh, players in this current regime, and how to best hedge and protect yourself uh, through the coming collapse, um, and how to prosper during this time. Because every economic downturn that we've seen in history there are always losers, but there are always winners. And it's those that really see the trend and get ahead of the trend are the ones that will prosper. And if you understand that the U.S. dollar has lost already 98% of its purchasing power since the Federal Reserve was enacted in 1913, if you understand that, then you know that zero is on the horizon for the value of the dollar. So get ahead of that trend. You know, get our book, uh, you know, go ahead and look at the free preview and, and see if it's something that resonates with you. Um, we offer the book in, in a paperback version that's uh, available on Amazon as well as createspace.com. And we also have an ebook for Kindle, iPad. Um, so whatever fits your format, but um, I highly urge you to take a look at this book and the information that is in it because it can help you prosper and thrive during this economic times that we're moving into. I thank you for listening and visiting us, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the Contact Us page, and we'll get back to you promptly. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.